Here we've got a nice little geometry problem. So let's say we've got a rectangle with side lengths 15 units and 18 units. And then inside that rectangle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six squares that have been inscribed in this fashion. And our goal is to find the side length of one of these squares, which I've denoted by D. Okay, so let's get to it. The idea is to triangulate this picture a little bit. And that is form some triangles out of maybe the side length of the square and some of the other parts. Okay, so let's maybe go ahead and do that. Maybe the easiest one to see right now would be a triangle right there. So notice this has hypotenuse D and then it has some height and some base as well. Maybe let's give this uh, the name Y and this the name X. So that has side length X for the triangle, side length Y for the triangle. And then finally we have like hypotenuse D for this triangle. So as you can see, we're gonna move towards the Pythagorean theorem. But next we wanna notice that this triangle is all over the place. And in fact, we can also see this triangle right here if we insert this line. And notice that's the same triangle exactly, it's just on its side. So that makes this side length Y and this side length X. And then next, that triangle is right here as well. So that makes this distance right here Y and this distance right here X but we can transpose this X up here. And notice we're starting to break up our top edge of this rectangle in terms of these sides X and Y. So let's maybe put some marks here to say that we're breaking it up like that. Okay, now let's see what we have going over here. So we've got another copy of this triangle, which we can draw like this. Notice that has our side length Y which maybe we'll transpose it up here to have a Y. And then finally, we've got one more right here, which we also know this has side length Y because it's the height of that same triangle. So we can transpose that up there. So now I wanna point out that we have almost all of the parts of the top edge of this rectangle. We're just missing this bit over here. So let's see if we can figure that out. So notice we can create one of our triangles by adding that line segment. We know the distance from here to here is Y, again, because it's another one of these similar triangles. And then the distance from here to here is X. Then we create, can create another one of those triangles like that. So we know that this distance right here is X, which can be transposed over here. But that doesn't help us right here just yet. But we also know that this distance right here is y. Finally, that makes this part that's left over x minus y because we have total length x when we subtract this y part off. So we can bring that up here and we have the last bit of our top edge. So that's x minus y. But now we can sum all of those little pieces together and notice that we'll get 18. So let's see what we've got. We've got x plus x plus x, so that's gonna be three x. And then we've got y plus y plus y minus y, so that's gonna be plus two y equals 18. So there we've got an equation relating x and y. Now we're gonna play the same game for this other side. So we've already got some parts of it. Now we'll build the rest of the parts similarly to how we did up here. So let's see what we've got we can create this length here by transposing this y over. So we can know that little segment has length y. We can create a triangle down here, which is similar to all of our other triangles. We know that this length is x. Now we can play the same game over here that we did for this line segment right here and we'll get the same quantity. So this is gonna be X minus Y. Again, doing exactly the same thing. But now we can sum all of those little pieces together and we'll get 15. So let's see what that is. X plus X plus X. So that's gonna be three X plus, now we have Y plus Y minus Y. So that's gonna be plus Y equals 15. 
But now we have a system of two equations and two unknowns. We can easily solve for each of our variables. So we can maybe subtract these two equations. We'll have 3x minus 3x and 2y minus y. So that's going to give us y equals 18 minus 15, which is 3. Okay. Next, we can plug y equals 3 up into either of these equations. Maybe notice if we plug it in up here, that's going to give us 3x equals 12, which tells us that x equals 4. Okay, good. So we know these two side lengths. Now we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to this triangle that I'll shade here in red. This is the triangle that we used over and over and over again. So we know that x squared plus y squared equals d squared. So that means d squared equals 4 squared plus 3 squared, which is 16 plus 9, which is 25. So that tells us d is equal to 5. So the length of all of these squares is 5, and that's a good place to stop.